All right, give us a fun sieve. I want. I want. Do I want Portuguese? I want Malians. Or Incas. I don't know actually what I want. I want something fun. Something with changes. Something that has had balance changes in the patch. If you have to pick one sieve that is D tier. I still think Bengal is our B tier, but from what other people say, they rate them highly. So maybe I'm wrong? I don't know. Persians. It's Koreans. Two saves that are mostly unchanged. <laughs> I mean, Persians have Gambesons now, so... <laughs> Persian long swords, am I right? Do they have supplies? They have supplies. Squ huh. You know what? There might be something there. I'm not even trolling. There might be a viability in Persian long swords in certain games. You still get out of the early game quite nicely with two eco bonuses. Do it. I mean, it's gonna have to be a logical, natural transition based on the early game. I think that's how long stories will always play out. I don't think it's something you just do for the sake of doing it. I think you need to have a logical... Did I lose a sheep there? Is he laming me? No. One, two, three... No, he didn't. Yeah. Um, there has to be a logical transition to it. Okay, nice wood line. I like. The gambesons, you have supplies. Oh yeah, true, true. They they go together. This supplies unlock gambesons. That makes sense. Can you put it that way? Salam. What's the sieve? Koreans. Douche? Yeah, I don't think so. I'm not sure what I want to play here. Don't really want to go range opening because he's Korean, so he gets armor for free. I guess I will op open stable and then adapt. Post lumber camp, left spot woodline. That's a little bit too comfy, maybe. <laughs> a little bit too comfy, I think. The death, death trap. I must have any lowish privilege there. It makes no sense. There's still hunt on this. Not much. Yeah, you know what, if I opened there, I would have gone for it. You know what, I'm probably still gonna go for it, because I'm stupid. See here? Once two villagers have chopped that, uh, that space, I, like, once those two, one of those two trees are down, I can justify more vills on the same one. Repond? 
Oh, fish bomb. I think I'm scouting the wrong way. I don't think he's here. What happened last game? Did something happen? What do you mean? A lot of things happened. See a barracks. Feels like possible men arms opening. I would say very likely. I would say extremely likely. Should I go range then? I'm gonna switch to a quick range opening instead. Whoa, he came this way. Why did he come this way? You were not supposed to go this way. Oh. I'm Omega House here. Really ugly. Not a pretty opening. Not as rough at his as his opening last game, but still a rough one. Going horse color because I'm a greedy boy. Big chance he's gonna target this one. Be careful, I will overchop here eventually. On both of them. What? I didn't get the scout? Uh, the kill? Nah, I'm so mega housed. You know what? I blame the Persian fast working town center. That's why I'm housed. I would obviously never get housed otherwise. I think I already... Mm, I'm considering switching into stable already. He has plus one armor, does he have a blacksmith already? Thus, oh, that's so sloppy. I even knew he was coming there, and I still managed to waste two two arches to that. It's really sloppy. This has been a really rough opening. Doing the switch through again. <laughs> Probably the next attack will come on my berries. Okay, one skirmisher there just in case. Getting so much value from his uh, long swords as well is crazy. It's crazy as in that I should have never allowed this to happen. Kind of crazy. Okay, 
Please we read that correct. And I'm always happy that I have horse color on all these farms. But now I'm very certain that there is a stable possibly to follow up. And selection hitboxes? You cannot select this. And now I'm housed. Oh. How do we tech switch from here? I'm going aggressive, which is super risky. If he comes in and catches me off guard with army now, since I'm still open, I will take a lot of damage. Yeah, this is too risky, being out there. With all I have. And that's why... Now the question is where is he going to go with it? It's going straight there. And I opened the wall now when he came back. Luckily he didn't look there. So that's at least something. Pretty sure that he's up here. Obviously getting a great trade there on paper. We have two that are arguably low HP. Still very, very vulnerable to whatever next attack he's doing. I also lost my scout. I'm not sure where I lost it. Yeah, I ran into his base. You will be my scout there, you'll be my scout there. You will be my scout there. The fact that he's not cast as yet is very good news for me. It means I won't be too far behind. He's added another scout himself. I think I'm fine taking the risk to wait for cast Lich. Safest now is to add the scout myself. Shocked by only Arch so far from Yo. Well. Oh. There's only one Archer. Don't know what he's playing still. I can't imagine he's going full knights against Persians. Oh, it is crossbow. I think I do plus two here. With Persians, we also have the plus two attack for free. But with plus two armor, I imagine I'll clean that up quite nicely. Ugh. Oh, 
It is still annoying idle time. At least he's positioning his army in a place where I should be able to clean it up without much problems. Uh, I think this is the time. This micro was real. Why did this one go back? Oh, it was another one, never mind. Okay, we stopped using the left wood line officially. I will be surprised if I don't hear monks. Oh. Is that the famous yo conversion that I keep hearing about? I think so. This monk doesn't have juice. I can go and kill it. It's passing, man. That's very nice. He's gonna die. He was bad, man. Is he? He lives! That's a joke, man. What? That is legit a joke. He didn't even start the conversion until my knight hit him. My knight was literally... was hitting him. When the conversion started. That is a joke. I will probably switch into light cav at some point. This feels like the logical thing to do. Oh, let's get a spindle. Should be quite useful in the current composition. Imagine he's gonna make a wagon switch. Maybe pikeman even. Hello. Do you think I'll get this conversion? <laughs> Where is this monk? Did he really escape? No. Crossbar missed Oh, block. Hey, we got the conversion. Let's go. That's what it feels like.
Is there ballistics? No, it doesn't. So our relic situation is pretty good. We're gonna have three at least. Say at least. I'm just gonna heal up quickly. make a range switch because the chances of him not having pikeman ready now are extremely small big chance he has clicked up not gonna have any scary numbers to work with but where's that wall should be a castle somewhere I'll uh, find out where it is. Uh, we don't need this. Not yet. Get forging now. I'd rather go imp. You gotta be a little bit careful. Those monks are a little bit too exposed. Currently I'm planning maybe trash bows. He's making pikemen. Trash bows are sailing up as a logical unit choice here. Oh, he has a monk there. That's fine. I'll convert it back. What he has here? Not enough by the looks of it. Let's get out of there. They're gonna take some kills on the way out. Oh, we find a relic as well while we're here. Trash bows paladin is too expensive. But we'll definitely do trash bows. Maybe Gamson's long swords, right? Am I right? That's bad that I'm building my castle there. I have to make some decisions now. With my university. Chemistry or ballistics first? It's one of them. I think ballistics so I can get bomber cannon. That's a very likely dead castle. I do regret placing my castle there now. But I could obviously not know. Bomber cannons aren't that good anyway. Now that I think about it, because these towers will outrange. Whatever I'm building. I will make some, but I think the better long-term choice is 
Rams. So much production here. Why are they going back? And there's a lot of production buildings here. It's not ideal. Him just chasing villagers is ideal. He doesn't have the long range upgrade though. Losing a few bills. Kill the bomber cannon though. Relics are a bit exposed. Not a big fan of that. Persians feel mad at this point. I think we're still fine. Full pop. My eco should be way better than his. I have mobility at the moment. Ooh. I just gotta make sure this one gets up. That one is quite important for me right now. Saw that again. No matter what he does, he must go elbows. Do I? Is that how it works? I will eventually start building up some. Why did I do that? Oh, he's setting up. Yeah, then I really have to push here. He's just gonna take out my castle. Try to make rams. Maybe I can snipe his. Maybe I can snipe his um, traps with a ram. I would gladly lose this castle, I think, for the compensation I'm getting on the other side. I saw you there. That's not good. You were able to snipe one trap actually. Oh, it's just a bug. The pathing, say pathing. It is a misclick.
He still has the gutter point. Oh, he has the, the gutter point all the way to the side there. I'd love to break in to get an angle to raid from there. Okay, that's good. I'm throwing away a lot of units, so he, he will take the score lead here. A couple of times, probably. It's probably going to switch a bit. But uh, I'm throwing away a lot of units simply to take position and make a mess for him. That's fine. I'm, I'm making only trash units, right? We still have this gold to work with. I'll build up a couple of traps as well. I haven't built a market yet. Hey, we got in. I think we need more stables. double push I'm gonna make sure he doesn't take that gold as well actually I'm manually target firing my crossbows often that's a good job by him okay we'll lose that one it's fine With the maxed out army, he probably has a stronger army than us. But again, for the time being, I, th I would say we're playing the cost efficiency game. And then, right, do we get it? What? How did that hit not count? Oh, it's actually alive. Long swords. Think it's the time. Long sword time. You think really think that's a good idea? There is actually not. It's not impossible that long swords could do a decent job for us here. I want to get under the tower. Oh, not like that. I think skirmishers make sense right now. He probably has a, a bomber cannon in here. Oh, on here. Oh, <gasps> I'm missing so many upgrades still. Oh my god! What is this? It's missing so many upgrades, bro! So I know he can't say gold for next game? I'm waiting for the right moment. That's how it works. And no, we're not going with elephants. I don't think so. Probably don't want to farm where I'm exposed. I also want to make a castle somewhere, but I'm, I'm going to save the stone for when I think the time is right. Switch a bit of a more focus into raiding as well. Compared to what we've been doing so far. Did he save those? Cheeky Bugger did save those. Imagine he has arrow slits on his powers, right?
Oh, the only to charity, exactly. Making a ton of crash balls is expensive as well. Underrated, or not under underrated, that's not the right word. But it's, it's expensive, it's not decent at gold. I'm going to save for Paladin up right now. Score difference is increasing in his favor, I am aware. Part of the plan. It's not part of the plan, it's just what happens by naturally. With the way the game is playing out. Market prices are barely used by the way. There is very nice. He actually loses a lot of villagers here. My scrums are targeting his mills. Seventy pop is pretty low. And let's get over it. We're almost through there. What? He's targeting my trap. Bills. Let's see if the paladin switch will be. Decisive. I need rams to uh, uh, join the paladin switch door. What? Okay, at least I got that. Paladin is through. Let's go. Need rams. this tower out let's wait for rams what is doing another castle oh am i doing a doubt castle <gasps> i'm doing a doubt castle never mind I did do um Yeah, it's unfortunate that he has traps there. Maybe I made the paladin switch a little too early. This castle would probably go down. I think his eco is in shambles though. Eco is guaranteed hurting though, right now. I do have herbal medicine, so if I make if I get these guys home. Mm. 
The main issue we see now is that he has gold income again. No chance he saves this, right? No chance. That castle is down. And that means I will have freedom to attack him again. Lovely. Doesn't this castle look can hurt? Not pretend. The trash post? I don't have the wood for that right now. I need to get this gold. He's giving up the middle, but I I'd rather take the middle than take the left side on at this point. I think this is way more valuable for me. Getting this side. Because this is the entry to his eco. Hmm, he will actually get resources there, though. I think his eco is still hurting. Farming equal in particular. Why is my ram going there? Okay, he's not using that gold. That is good to know. Oh, he has bills there. I could try to target his uh, monastery there. Surprised he sent Trebs to take that. Seems like a little bit of overkill. I don't have a castle left, but yeah, GG. His equal is just dead. No, oh, not a nice game. Yeah, he, he invested a lot on the left side, so I just took that opportunity to uh, steamroll the middle. But I think the Paladin raid still, when I did this Paladin switch, I could have maybe delayed it a little bit more. But with the Paladin switch, I was able to also just steamroll into, or like power play into his eco. You should switch again to, yeah. Yo, Xiang Yu Wei with a thousand stars. Thank you very kindly. Very kind of you. I only have 29 on wood. True, because I sent... I probably had like 30, 40-ish, because I sent those on gold that was chopping here. I think he might be struggling with woodlands as well. Yeah, he is. He's completely out of wood. And every wood he's trying to take, we're, we have units active there. Hey, 2800. You don't like... You don't like halberdiers in general. I think he needed to make, it's hard to say, right? I mean, if you look at the timeline, I have a big equal lead here. It's hard for him to make a straight line push where he's ignoring the sides and such, right? I did crop rotation at the end. I should have done it earlier. Um, but what Koreans need is pretty much a push, one push only, like one angle, like one only one push. So, like, if he was up here with castles and towers and whatnot, I would have to defend pretty much because he's so close to my eco. But uh, since I was able to raid on the sides and, like, always make him have to react on the sides, on the, in the long term, Persian mobility just pays off a lot. He also very, very effective, right? Because we didn't use, we didn't use our gold for the most, like, 
The only thing we spent gold on was pretty much rams for the longest time until I switched to Paladin. Also, the market price is still very good, right? Selling wood is 48, selling food is 75. Market price is still ridiculously good. That's something I should have started working with now. We should have gone on your help. It's really hard because I, I have bomber cannons as well. So, I don't know, man. Bomber cannons counter on uh, onagers. But if he has like tower, halb onager, that's something that could maybe work. Onager, skirm, house, or trap. You mean onager from me? <laughs> I don't think version onager. Do they even have onager? I think they do, yeah. Version onagers aren't great here. Opening to this game, though. I mean, you think all the way back to Fuel Age. That was a bit of a rough opening, but... Alright, it worked out in the end. GG.